travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation conduction and convection there are three ways that heat can travel but it can travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation conduction and convection first things first let's discuss heat what it is before you pay for it to warm your feet heat is the energy that flows when atoms and molecules move it diffuses out towards coolness temperature is the measurement of the average motion of these atoms and molecules in the atmosphere so there you have it now the first way of transportation of heat energy is radiation Like sound waves from your radio stations filling the empty space around you Your radiator warms you, but don't start a fire now, I warn you Heat is going through radiation from the sun before it burns you From 93 million miles away to re-radiate this heat is what the earth does for you This is survival, what this heat is going through before it rises to the sky and it's gone So there are three ways that heat can travel but it can travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation conduction and convection there are three ways that heat can travel but it can travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation conduction and convection conduction the second method on my list you can feel it like a hot pot in your fist with the handle gripped. I bet you'd rather grab a candle lit cause it's heat through conduction that causes this. Atoms and matter in a fixed position vibrate when heated like a pan in the kitchen. Transmit the heat energy to atoms next to them that are cooler than they are to cause equilibrium. To even out the temperature the heat has to travel. Up the spoon in your tea in the morning with your bagel. It might burn your hand but just learn the land of conduction heat energy until you understand. The earth gains little from conduction. It's mostly radiation that helps us function and keeps us warm It's just another way for heat to move But now let's move on to method 3 to prove There are three ways that heat can travel But it can travel in any direction From the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow And disperses the radiation, conduction and convection There are three ways that heat can travel But it can travel in any direction From the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow And disperses the radiation, conduction and convection Convection is the movement of heat and liquids and gases to even out the temperature fastest. This process is called diffusion. It's a flow of particles cold and hot in a fluid. If you're not listening, then stop what you're doing, because this is the final mode that heat can move in. And this affects you every day. It's the breeze at your back and the wind at your face. When heat reaches the earth, it rises at a rate with the air in the place, and it moves up till it cools. Trillions of molecules together make up the weather that we see on the news. It's how they measure the pressure of the air and the temperature. But convection is how it got there in the atmosphere. So don't be scared. Heat moves in three ways, so we made things clear. It's like there are three ways that heat can travel. But it can travel in any direction. From the sun, it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation, conduction, and convection. There are three ways that heat can travel. But it can travel in any direction from the sun, it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation, conduction, and convection.